I'm Samantha Deitcher for InvestmentPitch.com. Graphite, which evokes images of pencils, golf clubs and tennis rackets, is quickly becoming the darling of the investment community. Natural graphite deposits can generally be characterized as one of three types, crystalline or flake, amorphous and lump graphite. Graphite may be considered the highest grade of coal, although it is not used as fuel because it is difficult to ignite. Its many properties include being an excellent conductor of heat and electricity, having the highest natural strength of any material, maintaining its strength and stability to temperatures above 3600 degrees Celsius, as well as being resistant to chemical reaction. Traditional demand for graphite is largely tied to the steel industry, where it has been widely used to create heat-resistant coatings for steel manufacturing equipment, often called refractories, as well as an additive in steel itself, which together account for 41% of the graphite market. Automotive parts such as brake linings, gaskets and clutches account for 14%. Graphite and graphite powder, valued in industrial applications for their self-lubricating and dry lubricating properties, with lubricants account for another 14%. The balance is consumed in carbon brushes at 11%, batteries at 10%, and another 10% for miscellaneous purposes. Due to its amazing chemical and physical properties, graphite, a distant cousin to a diamond, is finding new uses across a wide range of industries. It's ironic that in our rush to decrease our carbon footprint, we are turning more and more to carbon products. For example, the lithium-ion battery is one of the fastest growing uses of graphite, with each battery containing greater than 10 times more graphite than lithium. These batteries are already widely utilized in the consumer electronics industry in mobile phones, computers and digital cameras, as well as in power tools. Mackey Research stated over the near to midterm, we expect growth in the refractory market to accelerate to complement a continuation of strong trends in the lithium-ion battery market, where approximate growth is running at 25 to 30 percent per year. According to the United States Geological Survey, fuel cells have the potential to consume as much graphite as all other uses combined. Graphite is also projected to be a key component in next-generation pebble bed nuclear reactors, which are fueled by tennis ball-sized graphite spheres with uranium embedded in them. China is now building the first two commercial units, with plans to have 30 by 2020. University of West Virginia researchers say these reactors could use the world's entire output of flake graphite. The dominance of China as a producer, with 73% of the market, coupled with measures introduced by the Chinese government to limit exports, has created a supply concern for the rest of the world. These numbers from 2009 are the most recent numbers provided by the U.S. Geological Survey. A recent natural graphite report from Industrial Metals puts China's numbers at 80%. Both the European Union and the United States have already put graphite on their critical mineral lists. Although there is a posted price for graphite, most transactions are based on direct negotiations between a buyer and a seller. A supply squeeze is now being felt, depicted in the new prices of flake graphite which have risen dramatically over the last year. Buyer in capital markets expects continued pressure on pricing from customers as they look for supply outside of China. Byron expects to see annual graphite demand increase from 1.1 million tons to about 2.6 million tons by 2020. Even if the lithium-ion predictions don't pan out, Byron still sees demand steadily rising to 1.5 million tons by 2020. Currently, flake graphite makes up about 40% of the market. Because most of the graphite mines being developed worldwide are small flake and amorphous in nature, large flake graphite will encounter the greatest demand. And with demand for graphite growing in double digits and prices reaching $2,500 to $3,000 per ton, the future for graphite companies with actual projects is excellent. I'm Samantha Deitcher for InvestmentPitch.com. For more video news, be sure to visit our website at www.investmentpitch.com. This video is for information purposes only and is not a recommendation to buy or sell any securities.